Hello friends, uh, my name is Parwiz and today is our ninth lesson in JavaFX. Uh, today I want to show you how you can make a preview in uh, JavaFX. Okay, first of all, uh, make a new project. JavaFX, uh, JavaFX ML application. And name it uh, Preview. Finish. Okay, now this is our project. Uh, let me remove the comments. Okay, first of all, open uh, FXML file. Okay, this is FXML, mm, our FXML file, and remove uh, this button and label just delete ok now make bigger your anchor pane uh, search for tree view uh, this is tree view Okay, now give ID to this tree view. Uh, go to code, uh, call it tree view, and save it. Okay, now come to your uh, FXML controller, uh, remove these methods and variables. Okay, now uh, first of all, what is tree view? Uh, a tree view has uh, three sections: a root, node, and sub node. Like this, uh, this is a, a root, uh, this is a node, uh, and these are sub nodes. <coughs> okay, first of all, we should uh, connect uh, our tree view to our FXML controller uh, at FXML uh, tree view. We give it a string and tree view. Okay. Uh, now and tree view does not take. Okay, just Okay, it does not check. Tree view, tree view. Okay. Now, uh, come to the your initialize uh, method. In here, mm, make a tree item string. Uh, call it root new tree. Look okay, first. Let me import this. Tree item, uh, new tree. Uh, just remove this. Uh, let me zoom it a little for you guys, uh, like this. Okay, now uh, tree item. Give it a string. Uh, call it root. New tree item and give it root now make nodes for it uh, tree item string node a new tree item and make it node a now uh, make another tree item string node b new tree item call it uh, node b <coughs> and just uh, make another let me copy this 
carlet uh, node C node C okay uh, first of all add uh, these nodes to the root root dot get children dot add all okay node A node B and node C and set the root to the tree view tree view dot set dot okay I think uh, first of all I should import uh, import uh, Java FX dot scene dot control dot tree view this tree view uh, it has a data type in here and give it a string okay now uh, tree view dot set root uh, and make it root okay now uh, we can run our uh, application let me zoom in <coughs> hmm. uh, this is our application uh, root node a node b and node, node c okay now uh, we want to add sub nodes to our uh, uh, tree view. Uh, for this, uh, uh, you can simply uh, copy uh, this like this. Copy this and uh, just change. Uh, Change this to a node. Okay, uh, remove this, and in here change this to node A1, node B1, node C1, and in here node A1, uh, node B1, and node C1. Uh, in here, just uh, make it. Uh, we want to add our uh, uh, sub nodes to the node A. Um, note note a dot get children dot at all note a one note b one and note c one okay uh, now we can run yeah. <coughs> you can see we have uh, root and we have uh, sub nodes node a1 node b1 node c1 okay uh, now uh, we want to expand uh, our this uh, uh, tree view uh, okay now if we run this uh, we want to uh, it, it should be show like this okay uh, you can do this simply by uh, in here just root dot set expand it to true now if we run this um, you can see that it's uh, expanded okay now uh, how we can add a uh, icon to this uh, uh, our tree view uh, for this reason you should uh, uh, in here I should make a package call it uh, IMG okay I have an image in here uh, I just copy this uh, and source package image image.png I copy for my this folder and uh, paste your image in the image package okay now in here uh, first of all you should make a image name it icon new image and uh, import image 
uh, make uh, sure that uh, you should uh, import the Java FX scene image, not Java AWT image, uh, like this. And here you can get class dot get a resource as a stream, and in here write your image part. Mm. Uh, my images and image folder uh, image dot png okay now and here simply you can in the root you can uh, write new image view and add your icon and let me import the image view okay now if we I run You can see uh, my um, icon is so big, so you can add your icon, but uh, you can see that it worked. Also, you can add uh, for um, all of your uh, uh, node and sub nodes by copying this. I just copy in this and in here. Now, if I run this. You can see that uh, I have this tree view. Okay, and now I want to add uh, some event handlers to uh, my tree view. Okay, uh, for this, first of all, uh, open your uh, scene builder, uh, take a label, bring it here. Okay, make it bigger. Uh, give it an ID label. Now come to properties. Make the size bigger, like this, and make it bold. Like this, and remove this. Okay, save it. Now, in uh, our controller, uh, we should make a method in here, uh, public void uh, select items, give a mouse event, mouse event, Mouse. Uh, I have imported AWT even it's not AWT. Okay, let me mm, clear this mouse event. I can here just uh, you should import Java FX scene mouse event. Call it event like this, and one thing for uh, first of all, we should uh, make a, uh, we should connect our label to our controller at FXML private label label. Okay, now in here. Um, you can uh, simply uh, um, take your tree view. Uh, okay, first of all, you should make a tree item string. Call it item. Take your tree view. Uh, tree view dot get selection model dot get selected item. And just in here, take your label dot set text mm, item dot get value. Okay, now we can run. Okay, now first of all, that we run, we should connect our this select items to our fxml file. 
uh, just open FXML like this. Uh, let me zoom. Okay, now in here, check this. Uh, come to code. First of all, find uh, on context menu request and also on mouse click select items okay save it now you can run okay now if I select root here is written node A and node B node C also you can select sub nodes node A1 node A2 node C1 okay uh, uh, thank you guys uh, and this was our ninth lesson. If you have any question, please uh, let me know. Uh, and for the further videos, please please subscribe my channel.